everyone, Lois here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news related to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts if when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This week, Niantic has announced a lot, and I'm going to start with the Go Tour Pokeball Prep Rally which also marks the debut of Hisuian Electrode which of course you'll be able to evolve in the Hisuian Voltorb into Hisuian Electrode but of course like with Hisuian Voltorb you cannot transfer into Pokemon Home as of this recording due to Pokemon Legends Arceus not being compatible with Pokemon Home. But hopefully one day we will be able to do that. But of course, also during the Go Tour Pokeball Prep Rally, you will also be able to get the costume of the Sword and Shield Pokeball mascot known as Ball Guy in the in-game shop. Which of course, Ball Guy, he pretty much has a Pokeball for a head and a, with eyes and a smiley face, red shirt, black sh shorts and shoes. Of course, this will be a cool and neat costume for your avatar. There will also be timed research and of course the following Pokemon that will be shiny for this event will be Cantonian Voltorb, Coffin, Meryl, Whalmer, Jigglypuff, and Galarian Stunkfisk. The following Pokemon that will not be available as 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 shinies will be Hisuian, Voltorb, Solus, Fungus, Cantonian Electrode, as well as Hisuian Electrode and Amoongus. These Pokemon will not be available as shinies, but of course you will be able to catch the former as I mentioned in other Pokemon news also announced Apex Shadow Lugia and Apex Shadow Ho-Oh which of course once you complete the special research for Johto Tour you'll be able to do a special research story that will take a while to complete whereas last year the post Johto Tour special research story rewarded you with with shiny Mew but of course I believe you'll be able to get another Celebi I think this Celebi will be yeah this Celebi will have the move Magical Leaf and you'll also be rewarded with a shiny Gyarados a reference to to gold and silver and their remix in Gen 4 where you had to head out to the Lake of Rage near Mahogany Town to deal with Shiny Gyarados because originally Shiny Gyarados was actually just a Magikarp that was forced to evolve and became a Gyarados that was red and of course 
That's how shiny Gyarados came to be design-wise. Now, Apex, Shadow, Ho-Oh, and Lugia, you'll be able to, to get during the master work research after you complete the Johto Tour special research story. Now, speaking of Johto Tour, you'll be able to get Shiny Spinarak, Gliger, Teddy Ursa, Mantine, if you choose the gold version. For silver, you'll be able to get shiny Ladybug, Delibird, Skarmory, and Fampy. As well as the following shinies that you'll get in both versions are the Johto Starters. Now, you'll also be able to get Igglybuff, Noctu, Hoppit, Sunkern, Mistrevious, Wobbuffet, Gliger, Shuckle, Teddy Ursa, Swinub, Mantine, and ho -Oh for gold. For silver, you'll get Clawfa, Sudowoodo, Yamma, Pineco, Haldauer, Miltank, Larvitar, and Lugia. And of course, the Avatar rewards include ho -Oh Wings, Lugia Mask, and of course, depending on which version you get, ho -Oh T-Shirt for Gold, or Lugia T-Shirt for Silver. And you'll also be doing collection challenges that relate to these. And you'll also be doing tasks such as timed research relating to trainer battles. You'll also be able to do six special trades. And for the first time, you'll also be able to get Corsola as a shiny. Both Heracross and Corsola will be raid bosses. Speaking of Johto Tour, it'll also be coming to select European cities. Such as the following cities in Germany, Germany like Berlin, Dormont, Etzen, Hamburg, Hanover, for Poland, Warsaw, for the UK, Bristol, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Liverpool, London, and Manchester, just to name a few. And of course, this doesn't affect if you bought the um, Johto Tour ticket in the in-game store. It's just in-person events. And of course, next season's Community Days include... Yeah, the, yeah, I meant to say next season's Community Days include March Community Day, which will be March 13th, 2022, on Sunday. April 23rd, 2022, which will be on Saturday, and May 21st, which will be Saturday. I meant to say... April 23rd. Excuse me for the mistake. But of course, as of this recording, we don't know which will be the Pokemon for these three months of Community Days. One more thing. I'll definitely be streaming this weekend over on Twitch. Tomb Raider. And continuing where I left off in the Coliseum. And I do apologize if I had some hiccups during my um, my last 
Tomb Raider live stream and during my um, Hop It Community Day streams. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings, practice social distancing, carry hand sanitizer with you, or use hand sanitizer that's provided to you in public in regards to masking, double mask, wear a KN95 or N95 mask. Most importantly, get vaccinated and boosted, and of course, stay safe stay healthy and together we are finally getting through these dark times together but we're not out of the woods just yet